Hello YouTube, this is Hack the Hackintosh, and today I've got another Hackintosh Tips video for you. And this one will be, like the title says, about laptops. Now, Hackintoshing a laptop is not usually recommended within the Hackintosh community as a laptop. You can't switch out as many parts, like you can't replace something if it doesn't work. If your trackpad doesn't work, you're stuck with it. If your sound doesn't work, you, well, you can use Voodoo HDA, but it's not very good sound, and so on. But this video will be a little bit about uh, Hackintoshing a laptop, um, whether you can just use the uh, same method or uh, you have to do something entirely different. Um, I'll be discussing the best laptops to Hackintosh. Um, if you saw my previous video, um, I did have a Hackintosh laptop. It's a HP DV 9644CA, I'm pretty sure. And, um, well, yeah, so first thing I want to talk about is um, laptops. As you can see here, it has um, Tony Mac, sorry, it's got. Uh, a whole section for laptops so you just go under forum and then down to laptops so here you got your um, laptop compatibility and stuff and then you know all your different uh, support so anyways I have I'm not recording this on my laptop by the way I'm using my desktop computer I just you know so um the HP ProBook 4530, that is a highly recommended laptop to Hackintosh. Like, just about everything works, I'm pretty sure, except for the Bluetooth until you go to sleep, then it won't work anymore or something. Um, but yeah, so if you need help with your laptop, um, you can just go here, you know, laptop compatibility. Um, look at all your, here's a whole bunch of errors for things. Um, and then now uh, I have two pages up here. Both are from MacBreaker. So there's one, as you can see, the best Hackintosh laptops of 2012 for Mountain Lion, and this is and this one is for Lion. So we'll look at the Lion uh, Hack Hackintosh laptops first. Um, so we have the HP ProBook 4530, and uh, well, it is a pretty nice laptop, I have to say. So, um, see it has its own forum on Tony Mac. It says, uh, let's see, Wi-Fi, Ethernet, Bluetooth, USB 3.0, battery meter, trackpad, SD card reader can all be enabled in, can all be enabled within a few minutes of your initial installation of Mac OS X. Um, it says the tweaking can be kept to a minimum. So what it says here, um, Bluetooth won't work after waking up from sleep, but screen brightness controls won't work before waking up from sleep. So if you want to use, you'll have to pick which one you want to use um, beforehand. Um, the Bluetooth doesn't work after a restart, it says here, only a cold boot up, uh, and the VGA port is unreliable. The microphone doesn't work at all. Uh, so, yeah, you know, it's a pretty good Hackintosh laptop. Um, if you saw my previous video about me showing the uh, Hackintosh tips for the BIOS, then I would have told you that my uh, Wi-Fi did not work in my laptop that I Hackintosh. So I always have to hook up with Ethernet. Um, but other than that, actually the VGA port on it, it works quite well, like, you, you get full res and everything, so, um, you know, that's pretty good. Uh, and then there's the HP ProBook 4730, so, um, you know, it's, uh, still in the same series, I guess. Um, this one here, the Lenovo G470. The Lenovo IdeaPad B570. Um, both of the, or sorry, most of these have um, 
quite a bit of uh, usability, I guess, after you Hackintosh it. Like, most of the stuff works. Um, Acer, most of the, li like, the two lists for these are um, mostly the same. So, uh, you know, this one was for Lion, right? So, and if I go to Mountain Lion here, see, it, um, it does show quite a bit of the same laptops. Um, but yeah, you can check this article out. Just search up on Google "best Hackintosh laptops," and it'll—I think it's like the first or second thing that comes up. So you know, it shows uh, the same things for the Mountain Lion, because Lion and Mountain Lion—they were very—they were very—they had very similar hardware support for um, both desktops and laptops. So now uh, I wanted to show you something within Unibeast here, um, either one line or mount line, doesn't really matter. So, if I go, um, it will give you an option for, uh, I don't know, let's go here. Um, as you can see, it, it has an option for laptop support. So, this will add different texts to, um, your installation. Like, uh, it, get, it gives you, like, a text for your trackpad, and, um, one for, uh, I think... It's the keyboard. I'm not quite sure, but um, yeah. So Unibeast, it's got an option for laptop support. So if you're installing on a laptop, check that. Whereas iBoot, if I'll just open up the wait, I already have a Tony Mac open, don't I? Uh, yes, I do. So um, if we are to go to uh, where is it? I think it's Reason. Yeah, downloads, and then. There's no uh, iBoot laptop or anything. Um, there's an RBoot for the laptop edition, I think. Yeah, it's the this. It has a laptop edition for RBoot, but iBoot. So if you're using the uh, iBoot and MultiBeast method, then you do not need to check off any external or sorry extra options for laptop support. Uh, I use the iBoot method for my laptop, it wasn't compatible with uh, Lion, so, you know, I had to use Snow Leopard. Um, and I can tell you it works great except for the Ethernet. The Sleep actually works, by, which I was surprised by. So does the Bluetooth. Again, the screen brightness does not work, which is kind of sad. But, uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you all later. Bye.